coolest little monkey boy. Come on, you little monkey, get over there. I don't know how his mama wasn't there and saw him wearing that shirt. <laughs> like, I would have been like, um, this doesn't feel right. Photographer, whoever was shooting this, looking through the lens, being like, this is, this is a great shot. I mean, the story here is absolutely phenomenal, Peter. We are going to Africa. This is going to uplift the black community hella. I mean, Yeezy ain't got shit on us right now. And several things has to happen here. Someone has to get, a couple people have to get fired. And if those people don't get fired, then you know this was part of their marketing strategy. How did no one see this? This doesn't make any sense. Like everyone, literally, the producer, every gaffer, like there are probably at least 20 people in that room looking at this little black boy just just doing his like sexy ass pose. I was like, great. Just like Calvin Klein in it, boom. Great. Boom. Great. Boom. Great. Just just giving it, uh, uh, he don't even know what he's wearing. No one brought it up, and he probably shot for two hours or three hours maybe, had like a hundred some odd photos, maybe a couple different looks, and nobody said anything. Everyone was just like, in editing. Let me maybe, maybe I'll just erase this part. Like this doesn't, like you, monkey, why, but why monkeys? We could go all the way to the casting. They came in, they looked at his photo, they had all the shirts, that all the little items of clothing, they had to select all the items. I'm like, hmm, this shirt is perfect. Put it on this black kid, he looks great in it. And then on top of that, put this orange one on this little white kid. Why didn't you put the green one on the white kid and the orange one on the black kid? Because after all, he's from Africa anyways. So he's gonna know how to survive in the African jungle. Why the fuck would this white little boy know how to survive in the African jungle? It doesn't make any sense to me. Your story is all ass backwards from your perspective. I loved H&M until today. Now I gotta find a new place to go shopping, to get some cheap ass clothes. But this is no surprise whatsoever. As a, as a model, I sit there on set and these guys pay lots of money to hire marketing people, advertising people, editors, like this, this wasn't an accident. So if you for a second believe the p apology, then you're fooling yourself. You're living an illusion. Most major companies are full of racist tendencies when it comes to fashion in the industry. Black people are still not being accepted in the fashion and entertainment industry. Like, apparently my skin, I don't register as black as an entertainer. This is not black enough. Like, it's not. I don't register as Puerto Rican. I don't register as shit. Unless they're looking for multicultural, ambiguous male, it's kind of ridiculous. But that's the industry that you're in. Like, it's not going anywhere. It's gonna change because you have new, young, entrepreneurs like the misfits and all these other people making their own clothing having the, the capability to make their own clothing so you might as well support those people and stop being so surprised like don't believe their apologies most celebrities and people that are apologizing for shit they don't mean it it's just their pr person said do a heartfelt apology and everything's gonna be okay and they're like i am so i am so sorry it was not okay for us to do this, and I am. <coughs> nah, bitch. You don't care. In in their mind, they <coughs> so much money, <coughs> so much publicity. <coughs> we won, and I think I'm contributing to this too as well. So I don't want to make this video too long. But guys, don't be so, so surprised. It's not that big of a deal. Meaning, support people that do support equality for both men, women, black people, Spanish people, everyone. Support businesses that support culture, support businesses that support equality, and you won't see these things happen. If you continue buying, like, man, I should return these shoes. This is from H&M. Help, man. I'm gonna show you right now. This shirt is from H&M. I'm wearing everything H&M. I'm all a... Wait, 
all H&M everything, H&M shoes, H&M shirt. Now I gotta return it, cause I'm butt hurt. I'm a big supporter of action, so I guess no more H&M. Let me know where's the next cheap clothing store that has a variety of different clothing that I can shop in in the comments. Um, let me know what your thoughts are when it comes to racism and biases. How do you support equality? What do you do to support equality? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, be sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out, Cub Scouts!